We are now looking at my collection of Teach Yourself books for just that, Teaching Yourself Foreign Languages. And while it may appear from the covers as if there are a number of series within the series, in point of fact, there are only two generations of Teach Yourself books, and everything you're looking at here is from the first generation, from the 1940s and 50s. They were little blue hardcover books in the 1960s, black ones throughout the entire period. They either had yellow and blue or blue and yellow dust jackets. And in the 1970s, they were reissued as little uh, blue and yellow paperbacks. In the 1980s, as uh, little blue paperbacks, light blue paperbacks. In the 1990s, however, um, while a few books, such as uh, Colson's Sanskrit, which you see at the bottom, a classic, was just reissued in the new larger black format, for the most part, most of the languages they had were entirely redone, utterly new editions, not uh, re uh, edited at all, but totally rewritten, uh, totally different books. Uh, and many different books were issued, including many books for <coughs> languages, uh, rare languages, African languages, for example, that you just cannot find anywhere else. And that's one of the strong points of the series, is that there are a lot of things that are not commercially available uh, in, uh, any, anywhere else. Um, in, this is the 1990s. In the 2000s, they started to come out instead of thick black books with thick white books, whose content is not any different from the black books, but whose graphic layout is, um, is, is a bit more friendly. So you have uh, more pages in the white books and the black books, but the content is the same. The first generation, again, uh, is what I would call the classic paradigmatic grammar translation presentation of materials. And this first generation was what I note for a fact to have been the first recourse here, the packaging that uh, the Teach Yourself books come in now, uh, was the primary recourse of uh, my father's generation of polyglots. My father himself learned most of his languages from working through Teach Yourself style books. How did they work? Classic uh, grammar translation books, table of contents, uh, chapter one, nouns, strong nouns, chapter two, weak nouns, the definite article, chapter three, presentate prepositions, chapter four, pronouns, uh, and so on and so forth. If we leaf through the book, you see it's entirely textual and very straightforward in its presentation. You get the material, you get the explanations, you get the examples, then you get a set of, or a list of new vocabulary words, and a set of translation exercises from Icelandic into English, and English into Icelandic. And there you have it, and that's all there is to it. Uh, at the end, you do get some appendices that put things into uh, tabular form, and of course, an answer key, uh, the direct uh, mirror image of the translation exercises uh, that you were given before, and ultimately you get uh, the vocabulary that you were taught. And let's take a close look at that. The Icelandic English vocabulary in this 1961 uh, book starts on page 155 and goes up to page 190. So you are given uh, 35 pages of vocabulary that you learned uh, by teaching yourself Icelandic with Teach Yourself books back in the 1960s. Let's compare and contrast that with uh, this replacement, Teach Yourself Icelandic, that came out in 19, uh, no, came out in 2004. Um, and you can see the vast differences that are uh, present in the series. Not all books are the same. There's not a uniform format, but for the most part, you have to say that the uh, grammatical presentation has been replaced. Look at this table of contents. Chapter one. Hi, what's your name? Greeting people and saying goodbye. Asking somebody's name and saying your name. Chapter two. What language do you speak? Saying excuse me. Saying which languages you speak or don't speak. Chapter four. Kristoff is dark haired. Describing the way somebody looks. Rather than getting a uh, grammatical presentation of the language, you're given what we can only call a, uh, a phrase book. Uh, presentation of the language. The, uh, if we leaf through it, you see that the graphic presentation is, is highlighted. Um, phrase books have always been around. They were something that you would pick up and take if you went to a country without studying the language, just wanting to know how to communicate with people. Uh, only in our generation have phrase books replaced actual teaching methods, teaching grammars, which I think uh, says something rather sad about our time. Um, 
the exercises that you're given in this book too, let's look at these. The exercises are no longer grammar translation, but they're all sorts of things. There's a huge variety of mix and match and unscrambling and uh, choosing the correct example and uh, looking at all the graphics. And uh, you can quibble with the methodology, but I would issue a very severe caveat. I think that this particular book is fine, but some of these Teach Yourself books, I have to say, um, they have a complete reaction against their translation, grammar translation exercises. And in the answer keys, while you are given the correct uh, responses to the unscrambling or the um, crossword puzzle or, or that kind of thing, you're never given a translation. And I just find that extremely difficult to follow. I, polyglot that I am, going to these books uh, sort of as, as reinforcement or just to get everything that I can, I really can't imagine how a uh, John, average John Lerner, Joe Lerner, would uh, be able to follow along with that, never being given a translation. In a teacher self book, you need it. Um, so you would have to actually have a teacher to use some of these. And I would issue that as an actual caveat. I would not buy one of these new books, um, Sight Unseen. I'd go to the library or bookstore and look at it and check the answer key to make sure that it gave me a translation of the uh, exercises that were in it. Um, if we go to the uh, the Icelandic English glossary that we're given here, we see it starts on page 189 and it goes up to page um, 201. So we have about uh, 12 pages of vocabulary that were taught with the new methods. So um, we're given about one third of the vocabulary that we used to be given. We used to be given two thirds more uh, vocabulary. And that might be an extreme example, uh, but it might not. I think it's uh, general throughout the series that you're given less. One improvement over the first generation. In the first generation, there was never any kind of recording. Um, in the second generation, there is. But let me talk about the recordings that you see here. Now they come on CDs, and you must be very careful getting the CDs out of these uh, disposable plastic boxes. I've broken a couple uh, trying to get them out. Uh, they used to come on cassettes that were advertised as being uh, 60 minutes each, so 120 minutes. The material that you get actually is not that long. It's better than nothing. It's better than the first generation. Again, it just came with a phonetic explanation. But the uh, let me leaf through the book a bit more so that you can see see what it's like. The um, material that you are given is. Uh, how shall I say this? They do not have actors recording with the microphone directly in front of their voice. They're very much into having people talk live on the scene. So they have you on the telephone or in the marketplace or in the hotel with lots of background noise. And the speakers themselves are, are, again, not actors or actresses. They're just people, and they do not have particularly pleasant uh, voices. And more than anything else, the problem with these is that there's too much English. There's too much explanation. There's too much blank space on the tapes. And so in order to use these, I find that I have to edit them very much and just make a re-recording of only the uh, target language. And in that case, instead of 120 minutes, you usually get between 20 minutes at a minimum and uh, 70 minutes at the maximum, I'd say about 45 minutes on the average. So that's the essence of the Teach Yourself series, something that you should know about and incorporate into your study regimen.